Hey, what's up, boys and girls, squids and kids, G-Smash here. Welcome back to some more Undertale. Now, before we begin, I'd like to address something. Just recently, when I was uh, playing uh, on my part 2 upload, which I uploaded this morning, somebody called me a weeb. He said this, it's some animation called <clears throat> M-C-U-N-T. He said this, and I quote, You Undertale weebs make me sick. It was there and then I decided to look up the definition of weeb. And of course, that goes without saying that I removed that comment. Because I'm kind of sick of people calling me like weeb or retard or something like that. Anyway, a weeb is someone who is obsessed with anime. Someone who is obsessed with Pokemon. And I'm not obsessed with Undertale. I love it. That, that much can be said. It's a great game. Really great artwork, really great music. Toby Fox is awesome. But I'm not obsessed, so don't even call me a weeb unless you know the definition. <laughs> Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off. on snail pie for tonight. Mmm. Mmm. Sounds like, um, escargot. I have another surprise for you. Uh-oh. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Well, um, thank you, Goat Mom. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. <laughs> okay, so here's a little cool little Easter egg here. So we, tr you see how the music is normal, and then we turn off the light, and then it changes. So we're gonna go to sleep here. And it looks like she slipped us a little bit of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Huh. That was nice of her. Let's go ahead and explore some of the other rooms. Ah, uh, this must be, um... Ah, uh, yes, this is Toriel's room. So let's see what's... Okay, we can't go in this room. I think you should play upstairs instead. So that is obviously indicating that something is um, down there. So let's go ahead and talk to Toriel. Um. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. Hmm. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Really? Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? Why not? 
It is called 70, 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Well, um, okay, here we go. How to exit the ruins. Um, uh, uh, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Everybody knows that. I have to do something. Stay here. Of course, he tells us to stay here. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and save. I sense a boss battle coming up. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to, to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, uh, Asgore, will kill you. I'm not gonna. S well, to those who know, you already know. But, I'm, but to those who are new to this series, I will not spoil. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Mm. But, Goat Mom. Oh my god. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Sorry, but um, as uh, Mr. Spock would say, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first boss, Toriel. And as much as I hate to do this, I'm going to. This is the neutral route. Don't worry, this isn't going to turn into genocide. Sorry, I don't know what happened.
then again, if, if this were a genocide run, i do this. I'd kill her in one shot. Ah! Uh, you are stronger than I thought! Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you, my child? Oh. God, what have I done? <sighs> anyway, on to the next area. I was I wasn't sure whether to spare her or not. I wasn't ready for a pacifist run just yet. Yes, I will be doing this the neutral run and the pacifist run in this game. <laughs> I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old bag thought she could break the rules. She strived so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Okay. Here we go. Undertale by Toby Fox. <sighs> All righty, you guys, I think we shall end it right here. So the question is. What'll happen after our human named Fawful goes into these snow areas? Who will he meet? Find out in the next episode. Until then, stay determined, my friends. <laughs>